This is Unicorn Vomit, named because of all the different colours in this build. Let's see what this $500 PC can do, but first, here are the parts and where I got them from. To start this build off, I found a bundle that included an i5 3570K 4 core 4 threaded overclockable CPU, 12GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 RAM rated at 1600 MHz, a Samsung Pro 830 128GB SSD for a boot drive, and this massive Thermal Right Silver Arrow CPU air cooler, all for $180 on Gumtree. A Z77 motherboard for the 3570K was hard to find, so I purchased this Gigabyte GA Z77P-D3 motherboard from AliExpress for 80 bucks. Up next is the GPU, which is a 2 gigabyte MSI GTX 960 for 150 bucks from a Facebook buy and sell group, which in all honesty is a terrible deal as this card is not very powerful. For the power supply I managed to find a Thermaltake Light Power 600 watt for 30 bucks from Gumtree, which will provide plenty of juice for the entire system, plus it will be able to accommodate any GPU upgrades that might be done in the future. I picked up this 1TB Hitachi Ultrastar 7200 RPM hard drive for eBay for 30 bucks, which will do nicely for mass storage of games and video files. Lastly is the case, which is some boring and generic ATX case from Kudmax, which I got from 20 bucks from Gumtree, but as a bonus it comes with a card reader on the front, which is good I guess. Adding all that up, if you haven't already, is 490 Aussie dollars, which is just under budget. That's all the parts, now onto the build time lapse, so sit back and enjoy. Benchmarks are up next with all games being tested at 1080p and settings adjusted accordingly to reach the magical 60fps without sacrificing too much graphic fidelity. I did manage to overclock the graphics card to 1554MHz on the core and 3903MHz on the memory, which should yield a few more frames.
CPU was overclocked at 4.3 GHz at 1.2 volts to get the most out of this computer. I ran a Cinebench R15 benchmark which received a score of 596, then I put it through my 1 minute Battlefield 4 render test in which it rendered it out at 3 minutes and 5 seconds. The full render test video can be found in a link in the description, and the description of that video is the render times and links to all the previous computers I have built on this channel. In conclusion, it is possible to get a better priced performance PC if you are patient and can snag a good deal when it arises. With the mining craze going on, even some good secondhand GPUs aren't available, which is making price a little crazy, but I feel if you wanted to just get into PC gaming on a $500 budget, you could do a lot worse than Unicorn Vomit. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you really enjoyed it, please consider subscribing for more PC builds and other content in the future. If you have a suggestion, question, or criticism, leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching.